Okay, my friend just told me that she walked into Chick-fil-A to meet her client for work. And because she's a curvy girl, she said this black dude, right when she walked in, was like, Damn! Oh, damn! <laughs> damn! <laughs> damn! And I'm like, would you guys really do that if you seen a girl with a big ass that was curvy? Would you make a lot of uh, loud noises and a scene? Or Remember, if you're new to this channel, guys, hit the like button and subscribe button. And welcome back to another video. Let's get it rolling right now. This one black dude proceeded to bark at this girl. Literally, she was walking down the sidewalk. And he was sitting in his patio on his apartment in his apartment and this attractive white girl walked by and he's like <laughs> you know for a fact that's not getting no girl's attention she that girl's probably walking by like you're a freaking fool would you do any of those things to get a girl's attention or would you just be more manly and say hey what is up Yeah, so obviously they were paying attention if they had to slam the brakes on and almost swerve. That's why you should always not be uh, texting and driving. That was turning had a signal on. Yes, guys, we almost got rear-ended. That is what happened. We almost got rear-ended back there. That's what I was trying to talk to you about. If you ever have a problem with your computer, never go to Best Buy. Because my dad is telling me that his coworker took a laptop to Best Buy and the dude's laptop wouldn't turn on so basically what they did they told him to buy a new computer because his computer was fried and basically it was just a battery that wasn't working and I know an incident where a buddy of mine took his laptop to Best Buy to get it worked on and basically they reformatted his laptop deleting all his pictures of his kids uh, movies of his kids and they're like what well, was the only way to fix the problem and the funny thing is, all they had to do was run a virus scan to get rid of the viruses. But they reformatted the computer. It's stupid ass Best Buy. Are you guys ever afraid that you're going to get stuck in an elevator? I got stuck on an elevator on a cruise ship and it sucked. Let me know if you're afraid of elevators and getting stuck or you're just like, uh, it's whatever. But I did get stuck in an elevator before. One's Bumpin' Gold Digger by Kanye West. I haven't heard that song in a long ass time. Oh, that's actually coming from the radio. Someone's bumping Kanye West on the uh, overhead radio. Ah, Kanye. How, how to kill ants 101. Dump water on them. Boom. It makes me totally sick when people leave their dogs in the car in hot heat. And especially their son or daughter. And they're like, well... I was only going into the mall for five minutes. I, 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 um, it's not that hot. Now we're seeing what the temperature is. I put my thermometer outside. Let's see exactly what it is right here, baby. Before you see it, you're going to see it before I do. A hundred and six degrees. And it says the hottest it's been was one hundred and thirty one. Oh my god, 131 degrees. That's what it says right there. That's the high. And it just dropped 2 degrees since I moved it from over here to here. That's just kind of like I was talking about earlier, guys, when you were uh, sitting in the car. And I was saying, don't leave your kids in the car and don't leave your dogs in the car. Like I said, don't leave your pets outside on the concrete because they can burn themselves. That's something you don't see every day, a golf cart cruise. What up guys, this is my headphones going for a walk. And today's uh, question is, what do you actually look for when it comes to dating? People right over there fighting over donuts. 
So what I was saying is, guys, what do you guys look for to when you date? What is the number one thing when you date somebody? Me, personally, you have to have three things. Be a hard worker, be fun and adventurous, and just basically be faithful. What do you guys look for to when you're trying to find a significant other? And if you are dating, and usually, and usually the common question is, where do you meet somebody? Usually I'll say this, if you're talking to somebody, or here's the thing, they always say, where can you find your significant other? Where's a point to look? Can you look on online dating? Can you find them on Facebook? My thing is, if you have something that you're fun and excited about and you're passionate about, you might be able to find your significant other there. If you like to go like do extreme sports, you might meet a girl who, who does extreme sports while you're doing the extreme sport. If you're into, I don't know, doing artwork, you might meet people at an art museum. you got to think outside the box and stop thinking, well, I'll meet this girl online, or I've been talking to this girl that's out of the country, or I've been talking to this girl that's across the country. That shit will never work. you got to meet somebody locally because nine times out of ten, meeting them out of state or just FaceTiming or video chat with them, that's all it's going to be. You're never, ever going to see each other. So for you people who are like, yeah, well, I'm talking to somebody in Hong Kong. I'm talking to someone in California. That shit is never going to work at the end of the day.